All right. I messed up. I left my refrigerator on when it's 110 degrees outside, so it just keeps running. So, this is what we got. We got... We got nothing. So it wants to kick over, but it just doesn't have enough juice. So I get to show off my uh, battery, what is it? It's a battery, um, uh, can't think, what the heck man? The battery charger at slash booster. So we're going to plug it in uh, through the truck like I normally do. Just plug her in here. And luckily, where I parked the truck, I have a... Oh. So, luckily, I parked next to a plug. Usually I keep it plugged in um, anyways, but if I did not have that, um, I have the generator. So... As you can see, it's turned on and she's gonna start charging for me. But we don't want it to charge. We want it, here. We want it to go to uh, the jump charge. So what we'll do is we'll press and hold this. So it will turn on, okay. So basically what this is gonna do is give it a supercharge. You can see. So we're gonna wait for that to do its thing, right? So I've noticed that this, uh, I've noticed that this only actually works if the batteries are not completely drained and completely dead because uh, when I had it at the shop, they allowed the batteries to die. I don't know what they did, if it was just from starting it and then stopping it and then starting it and stopping it and not allowing the, uh, the alternator to charge the batteries. Of course, these batteries are old. They're, they need to be <coughs> uh, changed out. Um, I made a video about them pretty much frying, so that probably didn't help any, um, but they haven't been stinking at all. So there's probably one that's dead and the rest are ready to go out. But uh, as long as this works, then we're going to keep trying it. Like I said, I, I usually have the truck plugged in overnight. Um, if I'm going to be gone for, or if I'm going to be away from the truck more than two days, then I'll, I'll plug it in over here. Uh, so now it's at a 50% uh, charge. So what it's doing is it's charging... There's an actually jump battery in here. So it's charging that up and then it's gonna boost it. I think it's uh, 1500 15,000 mega amps uh, a boost. So we're gonna let that do it and see if it see if it uh, charge up and see if it'll jump the truck. If not, we got jumper cables, so but yeah, it's weird. It's like when the truck battery gets below, you know, a certain, then what'll happen is it'll turn off uh, all everything inside of the truck, but yet it won't turn the um, the refrigerator off. It'll keep going. And when it's 110 outside, that means it's probably 150 in the truck, so that the refrigerator just keeps going and going and going and going. But uh, we're going to let this do its thing, and uh, we'll come back. All right, we are flashing green, which is the green light to go ahead and try to start it. So let's see what we can, let's see what we can accomplish. Let's see if it'll work. See if it'll work, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at that. Yep. Now I'm pretty sure that if uh, 
If I, they have a bigger one. I think it's twenty-five thousand or something, or thirty-five thousand. Um, I'm pretty sure it would start this from a dead, you know, pretty much a dead state. Um, but this is the lower one, so as long as the batteries aren't completely drained, then uh, she should start. But uh, let's see, we're at thirteen four volts, so. We're gonna bump it up. I gotta change some stickers because they changed my truck number. Um, so, and I know what you're gonna have to say. Well, what, what if I don't have a power outlet? What, what if, you know, how am I supposed to do it if I don't have a power outlet? Oh, that's when you have the, uh, the generator. So that will do the same thing. All you gotta do, Plug the generator in, and it'll do the exact same thing. So see, now it's off, which means that it's charged, everything's good. I'm gonna stick it back down here. We're gonna allow the truck to run, and uh, charge up the battery a little bit, because I gotta go tomorrow morning at uh, like three or four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock or something, I gotta go do a Phoenix turnaround. I was supposed to do it today, but I wasn't able to uh, because our power went out. And uh, yeah, that was interesting. Our power at the house went out, woke me up at 12:30, and again, it's over 100 degrees out here, <clears throat> so the house gets pretty warm uh, when it's still 100 degrees outside, even at night. But uh, yeah, so. There you go. That's why that thing is just completely awesome to have. Again, if you're worried if this will work, um, this is the 15,000. I believe they either make a 25 or 35,000, um, and that should have no problems whatsoever. Jump starting, um, jump starting it. Now this is connected to the batteries, so. I mean, if anything, I'm sure if the batteries were completely dead, completely gone, completely lost, then um, you might have an issue. But I'm sure there's a way you could probably jump it to the starter. In fact, I know uh, this truck, like most trucks. Um, see, I got to change those numbers right there out because they changed them on me. But. Uh, like most trucks, you have you have those, and those uh, are connected directly, pretty much to the starter. So, anyways, if you guys have any questions, um, you can get that thing off of Amazon. I forget what it costs. I've had it for a while, but. Uh, It'll also, if you have a way to charge, you know, keep your truck plugged in. It'll also keep your batteries at top notch and uh, top charge uh, at the end of the day. So, and it will pro, it will um, make your battery life a lot, uh, prolong your batteries. So, uh, anyways, like I said, if you got any questions, any comments, leave them down below. Thanks.